What's going on there, YouTube? And welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we are going to jump back over to DC Comics and we are going to cover another new 52 Superman storyline. Now, the reason why, because after our last Superboy and Teen Titans video, the next storyline was supposed to be held on Earth. But for us to cover that event, we have to cover some Supergirl and Superman content to get caught up before we dive into that event right there. So with that being said, we are going to cover a two-part storyline where Superman must fight against a character known as Hellspont. Now, Hellspawn is a very interesting character, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, hit that like button down below and subscribe. But here we go. So getting into Superman number seven, we actually pick up with Superman fighting against some random robot in Metropolis. Now, of course, this robot just appeared out of nowhere and began the process of attacking the city. And so Superman had to step in and actually deal with the robot. But while they're battling against each other, Superman was able to learn that, yes, this is not a living organism. But on top of that, he was able to see that this robot has some kind of technology that Superman has not ever seen before. And that right there kind of concerns him because he's wondering where in the world did this robot come from? But either way, you actually have him be able to defeat the robot. But while battling to defeat it, he does realize that the different robot pieces are being held together by some kind of magical runes. And so he's wondering where in the world did this robot come from? But once he is actually able to defeat this, of course, that means this robot will now be transferred over to Star Labs so that Star Labs can begin the process of hopefully learning more about this robot. Now, we actually do jump over to the Himalayas because we pick up with more of those robots right now working in some kind of temple but while they're working in this temple this gives us the first look of the bad guy in this video and his name is hellspont now we don't learn much about hellspont in this part of the video we learn a little bit more about him down the road but we do know that apparently he did escape some kind of prison. He crashed here on Earth. He was looking for a certain kind of human, but he was able to detect a Kryptonian, which of course was Superman. And now he wants to ask Superman to join his side to get revenge against people who had imprisoned him. But then we have to jump over to the Daily Planet where we actually pick up with Superman aka Clark Kent right now working there and he's being confronted by both Lois Lane and Jimmy. Now the reason why because both these characters have to ask Clark for a favor. For Jimmy he needs a place to stay because his place has bed bugs. And so with that, he needs some place to stay yet until the bed bugs are all gone. Now for Lois Lane, she has a completely different reason why she needs to talk to Clark Kent. She wants to ask him a favor. And that favor is for Clark Kent to actually pick up her little sister from the airport, Lucy. Now we're going to learn as the book goes on, this is Lois Lane kind of getting Clark Kent and Lucy together. And you see what I mean as we go through this video and the next one. But either way, it's Clark Kent saying yes on accident to both Jimmy and Lois Lane. But jumping back over to the robot that we first saw at the very beginning at this video, remember that robot was taken to Star Labs as a way for Star Labs to learn more about the robot. But out of nowhere, the robot just teleports away. And the question is, where did the robot go to? 
Of course, it does not take long for us to know where the robot went to because we actually jump back over to the Daily Planet with Superman still being Clark Kent working on different assignments. But that is when the robot reappears and of course begins the process of causing havoc at the Daily Planet, which means now Clark Kent must change into his Superman outfit to fight against this robot once again. But while fighting against this robot, this fight is actually short-lived. And the reason why, because remember, the robot apparently has the ability to teleport. And once again, it does teleport, but this time taking Superman with it to a different location. Now we know why Superman was teleported to the Himalayas, because Hellspawn want to have a conversation with Superman to ask him to join his side to take over the Earth. Now for Hellspawn, he does tell us the name of his race, but please forgive me because I'm about to butcher the name of this race so bad, but hey, please forgive me. The race name is known as the Daemonites. Daemonites, sorry. The Daemonites was a certain race in space. And matter of fact, the way Hellspawn is talking, they used to be a great force across the universe. They used to capture different planets across the universe. And apparently, Hellspawn says that he stepped on Earth a long time ago. And matter of fact, he was able to see the potential of the Earth way back then basically talking about the metahumans. But either way, he's confused on why the Daemonites have not taken over the Earth or more planets across the universe. He is very confused. Now again, we are going to learn more about Hellspawn in this video later on. But when it comes time for him to actually ask Superman to join his side, of course, you have Superman say, no, I am not going to join your side and take over the planet that I have been protecting this long. And Hellspot did not like that answer. And so he gives Superman a quick blast right in the face to knock out Superman. But before we are actually able to explore what happened to Superman, we have to jump over to Superman number eight. And the opening page, we see Lois Lane is upset with Clark Kent because remember, Lois Lane actually asked Clark Kent to go pick up Lucy Lane, her sister from the airport. But of course, he couldn't do that because he was knocked out by Hellspawn. And so right now, Lois Lane and Lucy are both kind of upset with Clark Kent. But then we actually jump over to Superman and we see him right now dealing with a bunch of different military forces because apparently there is a manhunt for Superman. And so you're left to wonder what happened at the ending or what happened after the ending of Superman number seven, but before this moment right here, that right now he's being hunted by different military forces. But then he wakes up at his desk, which then makes things even more confusing because now it's kind of like, how did he get here to his desk and how did he fall asleep at his desk after fighting against Hellspot in the last issue? Because then you have Jimmy Olsen actually come over to Superman talking about hanging out for the night. But for Superman, he's kind of like, wait a second, your place has bed bugs. Your main concern literally just a moment ago was bed bugs. Why are you trying to watch a G.I. Joe movie for? But then you actually have Superman wake up for real this time where he is confronted by Hellspawn. And what Hellspawn did was he put a parasite in the body of Superman as a way to show him a future where the world actually turns against Superman. Now, the reason why Hellspawn did that, because it actually happened to him with his own race of people. Hellspawn said that there was a time he was one of the greatest warriors in his race, and he took out different galaxies for his masters. But here comes the problem. Because his success, 
his masters actually began the process of being scared of him and thinking that one day he could possibly betray his own race. And so that is why he was in prison. Now, there is a later issue for Superman that does dive even more into the origin of Hellspawn. And I could actually cover that if you guys want me to. But for right now, that is all the information we have about Hellspawn. And Hellspawn actually asked Superman to join his side to get revenge against the Daemonites, but to also take over the Earth and Superman can be in charge of what happens to the Earth. Now, the rest of this section is really more of Superman fighting against Hellspawn. Now, their battle is pretty cool here. And also, I want to say, when it comes to Hellspawn, Hellspawn is actually a pretty good opponent for Superman because even though Superman is trying to hold back his punches but at the same time making sure that he can take down Hellspawn, Hellspawn is able to take blows from Superman like they were nothing. And so this battle goes on for a few pages but of course the book has to wrap up or the story does and you actually have Superman being able to blow up the temple that Hellspawn was using and after the explosion you do have Superman wonder is Hellspawn dead or alive of course he has no idea because when he looks for Hellspawn he can't see Hellspawn now tell you now Hellspawn is not dead he'll come back for later stories but for right now is Superman wondering could he actually be able to stop Hellspawn if he comes back for a second round but to go ahead and wrap up this video, you do have Clark Kent go back home to his apartment where he is confronted by Jimmy Olsen because you have to remember Jimmy Olsen did ask Superman if he can stay with him because of the bed bugs at his apartment. And so this is Jimmy Olsen kind of saying, hey man, I'm here and let's hang out like bros. But also you do have Jimmy tells Clark that hey, Lois Lane is mad at you because you did not pick up Lucy like you said you would. And this is where we are going to end today's short video. Yes, I do know it was short, but this story was only two parts. The next one has, I wanna say three to four parts, but either way, I do hope you enjoyed today's comic book video. And if you did, please hit that like button down below and subscribe. But here you go. Have a great day.